Well, hello everybody and welcome to uh, our latest episode of Grub and Groove. I'm here with the person who started it all, the person I learned to cook from, my mom, Bev. Hi. And we are going to make some zucchini today. So, um, appropriate to the season, this is a summer squash and we are entering the summer season. So, we're excited. How do you like your zucchini, as if I don't know? Oh, well, you know, a little al dente. I like everything al dente. I, so I'm glad you said that. Yeah. So, it al dente, a little, little crunch. You want to leave a little crunch in your vegetables because that means you still have those enzymes intact that will then help you with your digestion. So, what we're going to make today is we're actually going to make a little curry lime zucchini. Ooh, now that sounds interesting. Yes. <laughs> so you didn't learn that from me. <laughs> no, this is this is a variation on yeah. what okay. I've learned. So we're actually going to start by doing what is called a healthy saute. So um, the American Heart Association, in addition to one of my favorite sites, World Healthiest Foods, a healthy saute is basically a kind of saute steam where you use broth. Okay. And then afterwards, we're going to actually dress it with additional seasonings. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. where we'll get uh, the curry lime. So we're going to add a little bit while it's cooking and then a little bit afterwards. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the healthy saute started in the pan. And then we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Not too high. Be careful. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to create our broth, which is going to be the healthy saute base. So a little bit of water and then a little bit of broth. I actually use uh, Better Than Bouillon, which is one of my favorite broths. The biggest thing about the broth is, of course, to be careful with the sodium content of broth. So I encourage you to get a low sodium broth, or of course, broth is really just some uh, water boiled around, whether you make chicken or beef or veggie. And, uh, and that's what, um, what makes the base. My favorite, better than Mouillon, is actually, I like both the veggie and the chicken, and this one is actually the organic reduced sodium, so you get the best of both worlds. Fantastic. I've actually mixed the, um, the veggie and the beef before. Oh, have you? Yeah. The better than Mouillon? Yeah. Oh, what you are know, you doing for? You turned me on to that, better than Mouillon. Oh, right. And it really is. <laughs> Now, we are going to add garlic to this, and I'm going to show you a little trick with the garlic. Um, garlic, of course, has lots of antibacterial properties, um, lots of antifungal properties. It's a great medicinal um, food. You get the most benefit when it's raw. So we're going to add a little bit to the pan, and then we're going to add the other portion to it after we, when we dress it. So... Um, the other thing about cooking it is that it will also reduce the taste. Some people, if the garlic is too pungent for you raw, because it's going to be very strong, obviously all the medicine is getting to you, you may want to, to cook it and that will actually help tamper it down a little bit. All right, how are we doing? That looks lovely. All right, so we want to get a little boil going in there. Yes, a little, couple, couple of bowls. Okay, so we'll uh, wait for that. Okay. And then, uh, all right, I think we have... We have lunch <laughs> with our, our broth, yeah? Yes, I a little bubbling. And so now that we have a little bubbling, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the garlic. So let's go ahead and add half of the, half the, garlic. the garlic. So I chopped up two cloves of garlic. As you know, I like my garlic. So, um, but you can always do it to taste. Um, I could have chopped up more, but that's what I had readily available. <laughs> All right, and we'll save the rest. You can chop them up as finely or as large as you like. I like them large because I like to get big, big flavor from them. Um, so as you can see, we've got both green zucchini and yellow squash, summer squash. So we're gonna make that. And once that starts going a little bit, turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And. We're gonna go ahead and typically, if you're gonna make onions, because they do take a while to soften, we're gonna add some onion in there. Mm. Are we losing broth? We are losing broth. Okay, okay, we can pour a little more water. Yeah. Just dissipating a bit. Okay. So we'll get some more broth in. We do wanna keep the pan moist, because this is a 
healthy saute, but that does mean that you have to have something with which to saute it. How are we doing, How are we doing here? We're, uh, I would cooking with gas. We're cooking with gas. <laughs> cooking with gas. Like my mom said. Uh, uh, all right, let's go ahead and throw in our zucchini. All right, but before we do that, we're going to do our groove move okay. <laughs> for squash. All right. So it's very simple. I try to be very literal. So the squash is squash. Oh, okay. You just sit it down and squash it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Like a squat with a squash. I don't, yes. Okay. So, 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 you know, so one, two, three, squash. squash. <laughs> All right. So pick up the squash and give the squash a little squash. squash. All right. Like one time? Yes. Yep. Just put it in there. And then as long as we've still got good heat and we're still cooking with gas and the, and the broth is still bubbling up, okay. you can go ahead and let that saute. And so the healthy saute literally takes probably, especially with zucchini, we talked about having an al dente, three to five minutes max. So you can keep stirring that up. And we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning during the time of the saute. And then as I mentioned, we're gonna make up a little dressing to put on afterwards. So, let's put in a little, I have a little citrus pepper. I am a big um, pepper person in my, <laughs> I get it, I get it naturally, I, I guess. So, I do both, uh, a little black, and that's a citrus pepper with some lemon seasoning and some white. And then we're going to throw in a little of our main seasoning as we discussed. It's going to be a little curry. Mm. Curry it's powder. Curry it is. And then we've squeezed some fresh lime. So we've got some fresh lime. So let's add about half of that. So remember, fresh lime goes a long way um, between that and packaged lime. So, lovely. Okay. Good. All right, so we're going to keep sauteing that for the next three to five minutes, and then we should be ready to take it off and dress it. So it'll get very, very exciting after that. So while our zucchini is getting soft, again, we have about three to five minutes, which should be really easy time to do our dressing. So we're going to put in a little olive oil. As you know, we have to have our healthy fats. We're going to go ahead and add it to where we have the rest of our lime juice. Okay, how much? Um, do about, you know, same amount. We're going to do it to taste, so okay, just put it a bit. Right. There, okay. that's probably good. Yes. All right, and then we're going to add a little bit of the same seasonings we put on it when it was cooking. So okay, that'll include our, our... Our curry. Yes. And our uh, pepper. Yes. Citrus pepper. And then our uh, white pepper. Yes. And this is where I'm going to pump up the garlic because we're going to do a little fresh and a little powder. <laughs> yes, it's okay. So add the fresh and then we'll do it to taste on the powder. And I'm going to grab a spoon so we can sample it and make sure it is to our liking. Mm. All right. It smells wonderful. Would you like to stir and do the yeah. honors and taste it? So again, yeah. if you want to have more limey or you want to have more curry or you want to have more pepper, um, and as you know, I typically will add some hot sauce. So we won't be adding necessarily hot sauce. Where is it? What does it need? I think we're there. Oh, okay. I we're, think we're, we're there. there. Uh, let me have a little taste. Okay. I want a little more lime. Uh, I'm a limey. Lime. Yes. All right. So we added, let's add a little more lime. Just a hint. Okay. And then let's um, see where we are. Yeah. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I, I added a bit more curry, so. Good. All right. How are we? How are we doing? Make sure you stir it, cause that oil will settle, mm. and you got to make sure you get the full flavor of your dressing. So 
so you know what you need to add. Oof. That is limey. I think we need to now balance it out. So you may have to go back and forth. It's okay. Just a little bit of oil. Okay. I think we're, we're there. It's got to be close. All right. Good for you. Good right. for me. All right. I think we're there. I think we're there. I did. It did dim it down a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and these squash are ready. And so what we're going to do is we're taking them out. Why don't we go ahead and put that in there? Okay. And they're nice and crunchy, mm, mm. just the way we like them. Mm. The onions always add that extra flavor that I love. The aroma is amazing. Yes. And as you know, when you eat, part of the satiation you get and that feeling of really being full and enjoying your food comes from the smell of the food. So that's why you want to work with all these different seasonings to, to make it Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to taste this as it is, because we did season it. There you go. Okay. All right. Get a little green, a little I will yellow, see. and a little... And a little onion. All right. A little onion, a little green, and a little yellow. Okay. But before we do this, um, we're going to do a little... What should we do? Our, our, our squash. Okay, let's do the squash. <laughs> so the squash is pretty really easy. It's uh, just... Squash. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? What One, two, it? three. Squash. Mmm. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. It's delightful. So we're just going to put mm. a little bit of dressing. Mmm. Because it's actually talking right now. Tanya, I don't think it needs a thing. No? You may not no. need the dressing. Um, so, well, again, do what you like. Yeah, well, why don't we we'll try it? Try it a little it bit? Yet. Okay. All right. Mmm. Should we put that? Just a bit. Just a bit. I think it's... Okay, so we'll stir that around. We'll stir that around a little bit. Okay. Because you, and if you, if you decide not to use seasoning, you may want to add a little bit of olive oil just to get the healthy fats in there. Um, because we did not saute it in olive oil, um, so you want to get your, your fats, and then it'll also be fairly raw, so. Okay, so just a hint. We just added a hint of dressing. Okay. All right. We'll try it. Yellow and green and onion and And, and squash. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, even Big better. Grace? Put some rice, mm -hmm. or if you had some curry chicken. So we'll think about what we're going to make, and we'll see you in the next episode. The next episode. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Bye. 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 <laughs>